Before, creating an AI chatbot was hard, but now it's easy and it only takes minutes. Having an AI chatbot on your website can be extremely powerful, and you can do this easily by using a tool called Denser AI, which is happening to sponsor this video because I'll show you how to set it up, even if you have no technical experience, the different settings you can play with to give your customers a more personalized touch, how to get it to collect leads for you while you sleep, and finally, how to integrate it with your own website, even if you have no coding experience. So by the end of this video, you can have your own custom chatbot with your data installed on your website completely for free. So with that being said, this is not a hickey, it's just an insect that is hatching babies inside of my skin. So let's get started with step number one, go to denser.ai. As you can see, this is an AI powered chatbot built on your website. You can get a custom chat GPT for your website that enhance customer support, boost lead generation and skyrocket conversion. All you need to do is click on start for free. You can sign up with username and password or Google and Facebook. And we're now on the inside, but then we need to do step number two, create a bot. So as you can see on the right side here, they have a button called new bot click on it and this is where we can fill different information you can start right away from a website or you can upload your own files like PDFs, TXT, CSVs, etc. that trains your chatbot. Denser uses one of the best ways to retrieve data from your website, which makes it a lot faster for you. I wanna build a chatbot for this company here called roofnest.com, which you can imagine is for roof nests. Hiking outdoors, camping, something I would love to take on a ride through Norway. Either way, I'm gonna copy the URL paste it into Denser, select the language English, but there's also Chinese here, I believe it says. And then we're gonna click on build now. Just like that, it started to crawl all of the HTML files that roofnest.com has. Parsing the web pages, oh, there we go. In just minutes, it was literally done. Pretty amazing, right? So I'll click on chat and we enter step number three customize your chatbot. As you can see, we have the chatbot here, but it's pretty gray and boring. There's an R here, there's no color. We probably wanna customize it, right? So all you need to do is click on the customize icon to the left. Now you can see that there's a lot of different things that we can customize, but we're gonna start with the chatbot icon. I'll click choose file, and I'll use this AI logo here that I love and immediately it looks a lot better. Then you can choose the theme if you want it light or dark. Let's check out the dark version. All right, and there's also a customized version here as well where you can customize everything from the container background, the border color, primary background like blue, which are on the buttons. I think we're gonna stick with the light version and then they have the GPT version here as well, which is 4.0 or 3.5. Let's bring it to the smartest. Then they have leads on. This is important for you if you actually want to capture leads. You see here on the side, tell us how to reach you, name, email address, which is a pretty powerful feature. So you don't have to just capture people through an opt-in page. You can capture them straight in the chat box. If we click on leads off, this is something that you won't have but we definitely wanna keep that on. But then there are the textual customization you can do as well. The initial message, hey, how can I help you? You can also enter suggested questions. Like for example, like what is the best roof nest under $2,000? which populates in the top here so you can click to ask instead of actually asking it just by typing a question. This could lead your customers to ask better questions and go through the chat experience in an easier way. You can also customize the type your question here, the message prompt here as well. That is a way for you to customize what get actually sent to ChatGPT. We're gonna keep it blank and click on save. The second amount of customization, you can actually title your chatbot. So we do roof nest chatbot and we can do a description. I'll keep it blank for now, but now we've completed the roof nest chatbot with a logo, some easy questions and everything like that. But what information can we actually capture from lead? So as you can see, I'm on the leads tab now and we have two out of eight fields that you can get them to answer. Currently, we have name and email, which is good for pretty much everyone. 
but then they have a lot more options as well if you click on add field. But you might see the tell us how to reach you name email. You can also customize this by clicking on the leads tab and then you can change the description here as well. You see that we have the name here and email and this is gonna be the perfect fit for most businesses but you can add up to eight different fields and they're all custom. So if you wanna click on add field, you can click here, say you want to do more of a form to businesses where you help them. You could have employees and they could say a number from one to a hundred. And when they go through the actual chatbot and fills the form, you will get this records tab that gives you the data and you can easily export this or integrate it with a lot of different softwares through Zapier automation. But for now, I think our chatbot is customized really well and we're ready to head to step number four, set it up on your website. Just head to the integrations tab on the left side and here you can also see the integrations with Slack and Zapier. Also, we have the docs and instructions for either Shopify or a custom website like WordPress that I'm going to use. So I'll just click on get code. Here you see that you have copy code to integrate as a chat widget or copy code to integrate as an embedded frame. So this is on the website itself. I'm gonna do as a chat widget. So it's in the lower right hand corner. Just copy this code and I'll show you how it looks like on Shopify as well. So this is how it looks like in case you wanna do that. I'm gonna go to Namecheap where I have my WordPress website. And my favorite way to add code like this is to go to the plugin, then add a new plugin. Then you wanna search for WP headers and footers and look for this one here by WP Brigade. Just install it and activate it. And then when you click on plugins and install plugins, you just go to the WP headers and footer settings, put it in your footer HTML, put the code we just copied from the website and save. And now you can see we have the chatbot in the right side. And yeah, this is an AI generated website for plant, but the chatbot is trained on roof nests. So never mind that, but then we can do step number five, test our chatbot. And now you have your very own chatbot on the website and you can obviously ask any question by typing it here or you can ask the question here and we get prompted right away for them to get the form out with your name and email address. And also something I didn't show you was through this entire process, you can chat with it in the website itself. So for example, what's the best roof nest under $2,000? It will take the information that we parsed before and you can see that it's a fold out roof tent that can sleep two to three people. You can see given the context that we gave it, right? And it's priced at 1,995 with direct links to the website and you can keep asking a question. Let's see, are there any places in America that you could recommend we go out and try them? And it says these Isle Royal National Park, Crater Lake National Park, even astro camping in various locations. So it's using ChatGPT in the background here, which is very smart with the context of the entire website so it can answer questions that ChatGPT can. So you now know everything on how to set up the chatbot on your website. Go to Denser AI by clicking the link in the description down below and get started right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.